What up, everybody? Here's a top 10, but here's a chart topping break 2022 Fanatics Under Wraps 2.0 Autograph Baseballs, three box random player break number 19. Remember this spot here, any and all signed baseballs goes to the any and all multi signed baseball spot right there. Big thanks to this group right here. Let's nine tuple you up. Two, three. Thanks, D'Lo. Listen, I'm a broadcasting pro. I'm a broadcasting pro. Just when you think, is Joe ever going to do this break? Bam. Segway, break, boom. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. All right, there, there's everybody's names. Nine tupled up. <laughs> I think that's the official word, nine tuple. And there are the players right there. Now, let's randomize names and players. Let's match you up with a player after four and a five, nine times. Uh, you know what, Rex? If Brandon Frazier wants to do another mummy, huh? Usually, I'm, I'd be one to say, do we need another mummy? I think, in this case, I would say yes. Just because... Tom Cruise in one of his rare failures. Tom Cruise's mummy was not good. And the last three, Brendan Fraser mummies, basically the first one was good, the rest of them were terrible. So I feel like Brendan Fraser should, uh, should get a crack at another mummy. Ninth and final time. I think he deserves it. You know, let, but let's give him some good riders. Let's give him a good director, you know. Let, let's let's make it a good let's make it a good mummy. Should be like from the makers of Top Gun Maverick, the mummy. You know what I mean? Let's let's do that. All right, here is the list, just as is. Everything I did nine times, right? Everything I do, I do it for the breaks. All right, so I'm going to show you the list as is, and then I'll alphabetize by your first name so you can see uh, you can see all of your players grouped together. Yeah, that's right. That's Brian Adams, not to be confused with Ryan Adams. Yeah, also Canadian. Brian Adams, Canadian. The uh, yeah the 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 end credits song. Jeremy Port, there you are. Actually, it might have been the love song in the middle of the movie and your end credit song. Everything I do, I do it for you. Kevin Costner as um, as Robin Hood as your titular character. Matt Smith with the any and all multi time baseballs. Um. Was Morgan Freeman in that movie? All right, Tristan, there, here are your players. I think you might have the rest, right? There you go. All right, we're going to pause the video. We're going to see if there's any trades or if anyone needs to see their players again. We'll, we'll do that during this time. And when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, friends. Welcome back to the other side. No deals were done, so let's start ripping open some baseball. Thinking caps on. Although, just in the interest of time, I don't, I don't make these. Uh, I don't make these clues that difficult. All right, who am I? I bat left, I throw left. I've got a lifetime 248 batting average, 152 home runs, 422 runs batted in. Two-time All-Star, a World Series champion, an NL MVP, an NLCS MVP, an All-MLB First Teamer, an NL Rookie of the Year, a Gold Glover, a Silver Slugger. And I've got a cycle under my belt, hit for the cycle back in 2017. I've fallen upon hard times as of late, but I'm looking to make myself uh, 
you know, give myself a little comeback with a new team. Maybe a change of scenery will help him. If you listen to Rex, he's probably going to hit 350, hit 45 home runs, 100 RBIs, you know, 50 stolen bases, and, and lead his team to, uh, to, the world's, to a World Series victory. It should be pretty obvious who this is. Not Juan Soto, not Jock Peterson, but yes, Kevin. Cody Bellinger, Matt Smith with belly. Is Rex not listening? I thought he would get this for sure with those clues. So there's Cody Bellinger. There's all the hologram stickers right there. Yeah, he could use, he, he liked Yelich. Like Christian Yelich could could use a uh, a bounce back bounce back season. All right, there you go, Matt. Did the did the Rex clues help at all, Kevin, or no? I was kind of for, that was kind of more for Rex, but I thought you know, he was in the room. He's not. Come on, Rex. Trying to throw you a fun lob here. All right, is this just a single player one? Just a single player one. You knew it after you typed Soto, okay. This is another Rex player right here. Bats left, throws left, lifetime 265, has 1,400 hits, 283 home runs, and 889 runs batted in. Played for three teams my entire career. Three-time All-Star, a World Series champion, four-time Gold Glover, a Platinum Glove Award winner, Roberto Clemente Award winner as well. Another one of Rex's favorites. Rex once told us that he thought this guy was going to hit five. He's like, could, could this guy hit 500 home runs? And, and I, I laughed in his face. Could he be a Hall of Famer? Double laugh. I'm trying to think. If I give you some other clues, I feel like it'll just give it away. Not Chris Bryant. Come on, where's Rex? Let's just... This is now, now it just sounds mean-spirited if I do this not in front of Rex. <laughs> I thought Rex was in the chat. All right, now I just sound mean. Is this for Matt Smith again? It is. Not Contreras, you're getting warmer. Yeah, if I say some other teams, it's just going to give it away. Well, I'll do it. He was drafted by the Red Sox, but before he made his Major League debut, he was traded to the Padres, played there for a single season before being traded to the Cubs, and is now with the Yankees since 2021. He's a uh, first baseman. Wow, I didn't realize. Yeah, it's Anthony Rizzo, Matt Smith with Rizzo. Uh, Anthony Rizzo was diagnosed with a limited state of classical Hodgkin lymphoma in 2008. He did chemo for six months. Hmm. I didn't. Re I didn't remember that. That way.
Yeah, he and Rizzo is good with the glove. I want to say that was more in his Cubs era. Yeah, his platinum glove was in 2016. His last gold glove was in 2020, still with the Cubs era. But uh, yeah, he's a pretty dependable uh, first baseman. All right. Matt Smith with two of the three. Is he going to leave any for anyone else? Or is this going to be a clean sweep? Two for three is good, though. Two for three is an excellent batting average. Their X clues actually help a lot. Says, says Gio, yeah, I, I, I got to make things interesting. I got to see how many people pay attention to the community. Yeah, can we go three for three with Rex favorites? If this is Wilson Contreras, this will be amazing. It's not. This is a non-Rex player. But he is a Hall of Famer. Got in on the sixth ballot with 76.7% .7 of the vote. He's a five-time All-Star, seven-time Gold Glove Award winner, and MLB wins leader in 1995. Career 270 to 153 win loss, 368 lifetime earn run average, and 2,800 strikeouts, 2,813 strikeouts. A left, uh, a batted left. He threw righty, though. I don't think he ever batted in his career, though. He played for the Orioles and the Yankees. Not Tom Glavin. Tom Glavin never played for the Orioles or Yankees. Wow. Yep, it's the Moose. Mike Mussina, who can now write HOF on his base. Some people might not agree with that, but but he got in. Mike Mussina, and guess what? It's a clean sweep. Matt Smith with Mike Mussina. There you go, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.